everyone. I am Shweta and I am an intern here at Indian Folk. Today, in this video, I shall be discussing the re recent National Medical Commission Bill. Before going into the details regarding this bill, I would like to begin with the history of the Indian Medical Council. Medical education and medical practice in India has been regulated by the Indian Medical Council's Council since 1930s. So this Indian Medical Council was constituted with four important aims. First is to monitor all educational institutions that provided for undergraduate and postgraduate medical education. Second is provision of accreditation to colleges that provided education in medical sciences. Thirdly, to actually give approval for various degrees, medical degrees earned from foreign institutions and other UGC approved universities. Finally, the fourth aim was to maintain the National Medical Registry of all registered medical practitioners across India. So this council was the major body at the All India level that regulated medical education in the entire country. However, this particular board was actually closed or, or you know, uh, called off in the year 2010 following um, allegations of scandals against the top administrators of this council. Since 2010, ad hoc measures have been taken to rebuild this council, but it had not resulted in any success. Even now, the recent 2019 National Medical Commission bill has been a very controversial one. And today in this video, I shall be discussing the main areas of controversy associated with this particular bill. The first provision is associated with community health givers or community health care workers. So these are individuals who have some background in medical sciences and this bill states that these individuals may be actually given the permit or the license to operate in mid-level medical care, especially in preventative medicine. This has been objected by the large aspect of the medical community, primarily on the grounds that these individuals may not be given the adequate training for, so required for their job and may encourage quackery as a consequence. So this is of serious concern, not just to the medical fraternity, but to us as the public. The central government, on the other hand, is defending this particular move on the ground that India is having a poor doctor to patient ratio and the need for increasing the number of workers becomes important in order to meet certain de deadlines and also to provide health care to people. The second area of contestation is with regard to the NEET examination, National Eligibility Commitments Test for postgraduate medical courses and replacing with the next or the national exit test, which would be a test that is taken in the final year of medical education in undergraduate level and would act as a way for licensing and also entry into postgraduate courses. This is again being objected by the medical fraternity. The third and most controversial issue is with regard to the democracy and appointment of uh, members to the National Medical Commission. So uh, only five of these members are to be democratically selected while 20 members may be appointed by the government. So this is also coming under scrutiny because of the fact that medical professionals and professionals and practitioners believe that today many of uh, uh, they may not appoint individuals from the medical fraternity and would in a way challenge the democracy of this particular institution. This again remains a crucial issue for the medical fraternity. Given all these controversial issues involved in this particular bill, the medical fraternity today is of the opinion that they might be forced to take extreme measures in order to protest this. Recently, this bill has also been passed in the Rajya Sabha and we are yet to know what is to come out of it. To, to know more about this particular bill and also other engaging topics, stay tuned to info.org. Thank you.